The real sounds of the Grand Prix are roaring back to Belle Isle. And Local 4, Click on Detroit, and NBC are your home for race week coverage. A live special, all the big moments, all the big names, and more. The Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix presented by Lear. Only on your big event station, Local 4, and Click on Detroit. Brought to you in part by Chevrolet, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and Oakland University. Coming up next, it's a Local 4 Big Event Special, the Grand Premier, followed by Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy at special times. The moments are here on Local 4 and click on Detroit. It's time, Detroit. The engines are roaring. The racers are here right where they belong, in the Motor City. The 30th Grand Prix in Detroit is upon us, and tonight is the night that kicks things off. The best in the world of racing and some of the biggest names in Detroit will be right here for an electric evening at one of Detroit's most beautiful venues, Belle Isle. It's time to party. It's time for the Grand Premiere. It sure is. Welcome to the 2019 Grand Premier Live, uh, the James Scott Memorial Fountain on Belle Isle, providing our setting here. I don't think there's a better one. It's a night of a lot of glitz and glamour before we get started with the Grand Prix. Great to have you with us here tonight. That's right. The who's who of IndyCar racing and some of Detroit's most recognizable faces are arriving on the black carpet. We'll be in the middle of it all, the action for the next hour here, right here on Local 4. Uh, it's the perfect night for a party, too, Devin. It, it absolutely is. It's just gorgeous here tonight, along with Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. So glad you're with us. People ask me all the time about uh, y your favorite view of Detroit. This one is always mine, where you I can know. see both the fountain it's and then the Detroit River and then the downtown skyline. It's gorgeous, and we're talking about the fountain, too. It's just perfect, and it looks like something. <laughs> it, it will. I will put it up against any fountain in Europe. Isn't it's it? just, it's it's just really it is absolutely spectacular. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, of course, this area is going to be known as the Winter Circle, where we're standing here tonight, the spot where uh, the championship Champions will uh, the champagne rather will be flowing for the champions. But tonight the party is happening right now across from this fountain. That's right. Our Bernie Smilovitz got an invite inside and he has a special co-host. Who you got there with you, Bernie? Well, first of all, can you even believe they let me in here? That would be the first thing. Second of all, this is Becky Dalton, a Canadian actress. She's engaged to be married to James Hinchcliffe, who is fly who is dry flying, who's driving tomorrow and on Sunday and she's been here to help us out throughout the day. Uh, James will come to this party, am I, to am I correct? Yes, he will. Yeah. Will, he have, will, he have, will he have a good time or will his mind be on racing? He'll probably be on racing and picking me up and taking me back to the bus probably. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, <laughs> we that's, gotta eat. <laughs> that's right, exactly right. And how much will he sleep? Will he have a big evening tonight or will it be? No, he'll be done, so he'll get to go to bed early and he sleeps like a rock. He goes to sleep in about five seconds, so he'll be fine. I never worry about that. Great. All right. A lot more we're going to talk about here tonight. We're going to head over to Steve Garagiola and Jamie Evans. They're uh, outside the party, kids. Well, I can tell you one thing I'm going to do through the rest of this weekend, and that is super glue my hand <laughs> to my ear because it's impossible to hear wherever you are. No roaring this evening. This is because the big party has begun here, the charity event. And what a great first day of this weekend, huh? Absolutely gorgeous weather. This party looks fantastic from what we can see from the outside. And we've talked to a lot of drivers already who are coming in and are going to mingle with everyone. I think that's great. Well, and what we've gathered already, these, the drivers are excited to be here. Uh, we talked to Will Power. We talked to Elio Castronavis. They love coming to Detroit. They love to race this course. So it's going to be a great weekend. Uh, I guess, Devin, Kimberly, let's give it back to you. Okay, thank you, Steve and Jamie. Uh, the 2019 Detroit Chevrolet Grand Prix is in its 30th year and is the only doubleheader race weekend in the IndyCar Series schedule. And this will be the first official appearance for Indy 500 winner. Simone Pagano, he's going to join us a little bit later in the show. I guess Simon, for those who, yeah, for, that's for, what, for, for the yes, that's for, <laughs> I was trying to be French, but uh, uh, Simon, Simon Pagano, Pagano is going to join us yes. a little bit later on tonight. That's right, and this year uh, will be a, an even better experience for the fans with the paddock being open to every single ticket holder, uh, and a familiar face to Detroit sports fans will serve as the Grand Marshal. Uh, that's the Pistons' favorite. Uh, Andre Drummond, he's going to be there, and you can feel the excitement in Detroit for sure.
It was easy to notice this year how much better the city was, cleaner, and 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 the whole the whole thing, the atmosphere is better. Everything is better in the city. I think it's a very challenging track for the fact that it's a street track. You know, the walls are really close, but at the same time, it's a very fast track. So very demanding on the driver concentration. It's a key, and um, yeah, it makes it uh, more enjoyable if you win and have a good result. No doubt about it. And of course, it was already a busy day around the track. Crews were out there today taking some practice laps. Uh, we also had uh, some qualifying going on in some of the other events. The track, 2.3 miles long. Racers taking those turns at an average of about 150 miles an hour, kind of like Kimberly Gill yeah, on the that's lodge. Nothing. Right up that's there. Nothing. Yep. <laughs> and joining us now, a man who knows a thing or two about speed, the founder of Penske Racing, Roger Penske. Roger, great to see you. Well, great to see you guys, right, Kimberly and Devin. Great to have you guys, the NBC, part of our racing whole, the whole season now. What a job at Indianapolis, and great to bring it here to Detroit. That's right, and you're going for your eighth win here in Detroit. Right. How much pressure is that? And then you're coming off a big win, as you said, in Indianapolis. Yep. You've got to be tired, Mr. Penske. Well, I'm not tired. I'm just anxious to see what happens. <laughs> you know, this is a business you never know, like you saw last week at Indianapolis. Oh. The last two laps, anybody oh, yeah. could have won that race, and we hope we have that here this weekend. A great win for you. Take me through what it's what is it like for you as the owner you've seen a million races and a million finishes take me through those last couple of laps what was that like for you well, for Pagano? I was watching a monitor obviously because you couldn't see him but but he had a line coming off the corners and his car was good I think we had the speed but once he passed with two laps to go I figured it was ours but you never know 0.2 seconds at the end uh, anybody <laughs> yeah. it's yeah. like a 50 foot putt I guess you got to sink it or you win or you lose right, right. that's it and I assume it never gets old to win a race like that at Indy. <laughs> well, my dad took me to Indy back in 1951, if you can believe it. I was a young kid, and I guess I got injected with a racing bug, and it's never left me. So uh, it's helped us build our brand through our company and our people. And to me, to come here to Belle Isle and to, to see Detroit and see what's taking place here, it's really a renaissance, and it's such a pleasure to be here and part of this. And, you know, the media and everyone else, the private sector, certainly the mayor and the governor here made a big difference. we got a great team. Yeah, yeah, we really do. What do you think about the island? It looks great to us. Well, this, this Scott Fountain is just amazing, and I think this is one of the things that we can give back to the city. And I know when you look at this end of the island, and tonight we hope that we'll raise a million dollars for Belle Isle Conservancy, and that'll go back into this island. So many Detroiters come here for weddings and come here on the weekends with their kids, and we just want to be part of that. Yeah, absolutely. As for the race itself, you come out of something like Indy, you must feel that really has to help the excitement around the race, right? Everybody's well, kind of fired well, up. You know, it's amazing this year's Indy how much in international notoriety. Yes. And there's a lot of momentum coming in here, and you know certainly with our team, we're excited about it. But uh, you only got to put that behind you. We got a race at Detroit, and we got two races here for Indy and the Imps are race tomorrow. So a lot of racing. Yeah, and we're we've got our fingers crossed that the weather will hold out for us. We're going to talk to Ben about that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we just wish you the best, and we thank you for uh, coming and talking with yeah. us. Well, Mr. you guys Pinsky. are great. Thanks for what you're doing for our city. Absolutely. We're thrilled to be a part of it this year. Thanks, Roger, so much. All right, let's get back uh, in with Bernie and Becky as the party picks up. Yeah, it's really, it's rocking in here. It's going pretty good. So um, I just want everybody to understand, Becky came down to help us. She's a Canadian actress from Toronto, engaged to James Hinchcliffe. Are you taking his last name? I think I will. Professionally, I might keep Dalton. Yeah. yeah. She's a professional actress, and she was on Suits, and she worked with Meghan Markle. We told the story much earlier on the newscast. We want you to tell it again. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I went on an episode and uh, Meghan Markle's character actually was having an affair with my husband, so she showed up at our house wanting to see him and I was there and I opened the door and I was very upset. I told her to get out and I slammed the door in her face. And what did you say to her? I just said get out and I shut the door, but I'm Canadian so I said get out. <laughs> so she had to teach me how to say it the American way, which is out. So, how, how difficult is it having a fiance as a race car driver and you being an actress? It's a very good question. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of traveling involved and a lot of time management. There's things that I miss, there's things that he misses, but we make it work the best we can. Crazy though. Also, they were prom dates and then for 12 years didn't speak and then you saw he had an accident and you, you texted him. I did. I reached out on Facebook to see how he was doing. I knew he was okay, but it was a very bad crash and uh, we, we talked over Facebook for about two months and then we were both in LA actually and he sent me up to the Fontana track to watch him race. So that was kind of intrigued. Then we went for 
for dinner, and the rest is honestly history. It's great. And when's your, when is your wedding? It is August 3rd. It's August 3rd. Give us, give us the address so everybody at home can come. <laughs> You're getting married in Toronto. Yeah, just north of Toronto, okay. yeah. All right. all right. You've been great all day long. We'll Thank see you in a little you. while. We're going we're gonna to head over to Steve and Jamie. Kids! Go back. Actually, we'll take it back here. No problem, Bernie and Becky. We'll be back to you guys in just a bit. But we're here uh, with uh, some of the people who helped make this event possible tonight. Grand Premier co-chairs Sherry and Ken Kelzer. What a night. What a How'd you arrange this? This is a perfect night. Talk about the best weather you could have for a party like this tonight. What a send-off for what we're going to do this weekend. Yeah, really spectacular. spectacular. I don't know how you who you had to talk to because we've we know a weather guy. That's right. He never seems to come through. <laughs> this like is great we weather. This six months ago, and so we <laughs> asked for this weather, and it, it came. Yeah, yeah. But well, speaking of speaking of beautiful, uh, Belle Isle is a beautiful place. Uh, you know, families love to come here during the summer, and it's important to keep it beautiful. What are you guys doing to to make sure that the, that it stays beautiful even after this? Well, that's what it's all about tonight, because the idea here is to raise some money to continue the work that's happening on Belle Isle, because as you look at it, you can see the streets, the, the maintenance, the aquarium, everything is being upgraded and every time. And you know what? we got to leave it for our future generations. People want to come down here, and we need that. We really do. Sherry, people who remember what it looked like not that long ago, uh, if you haven't been here in a while, then you haven't been here. We haven't been here for a while, but uh, yeah, we're just really enjoying it. It's 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 been a hundred percent changed. I mean, having the uh, race going on and and the um, the whole area just revamping, so booming. Really and as Roger Penske just told us, we're going to raise an awful lot of money tonight. We yeah. expect to, you know what? And yeah. right behind us here is this fountain, and the expectation is a few more dollars for this fountain, keep this thing running. And you know what? Uh, we also have free admission for the aquarium, for example. Right. The money that comes out of tonight. You get the, the school kids from Detroit coming on in, and everybody gets to experience. It's really awesome. That's Fantastic. great. Thank you, too. We'll let you go have fun now. Yeah. Thanks for spending You're some time with us, though. Yep. Yeah, oh, Thank you, you bet. Much. Really good You're stuff. Yeah. You bet. Yeah. Well, we have a special programming note for everybody watching. Welcome back. It is a beautiful evening on Belle Isle. Uh, the big tent is where the charity event is happening. A lot of money being raised to benefit Belle Isle. Uh, some of the racers have arrived already. You chatted with Will Power. Yes. You know, Castor Navos, who loves coming to the Motor City. Yes, and Max Chilton. They all talked about uh, practice today. It's about practice, Steve, and you got to get that in and qualifying then is tomorrow. But tonight is about partying and raising some money, and it's really great. They've got a black carpet. We've got wonderful cars driving up, wonderful outfits. I know you love fashion. Well, I'll tell you what's fun, and I'm going to step out of the way if any of the cars are pulling up. This has been like the dream cruise. Some of these hot cars we have seen come through here tonight. My favorite was this afternoon, one of the young guys I interviewed wanted that $78,000 souped up Corvette. But there are oh, yeah. a lot of, it's Motor City, where are you gonna see beautiful vehicles? Yes, it's a fabulous event, Steve, I would say. And the weather could not be better for this event, for racing here in Detroit. I think we're gonna have a good weekend. Hopefully, rain holds off. So we're just waiting to see who else shows up down here on the black carpet, catch a few more drivers, and if we do, we'll have them for you. Uh, Devin Kimberly, we'll throw it back to you. Okay, Steve and Jamie, thanks so much. Uh, joining us now is Bud Denker. He's Roger Penske's right-hand man, right? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> He's the president of Penske Corporation and the chairman of the Detroit Grand Prix. Um, talk about just what's new and improved. It's so much, and it's so nice, by the way. It's beautiful. Well, this backdrop couldn't be any better behind us. It's exactly. got about 1925 it was built, and look at it flowing today. It flowed for the first time today due to the Grand Prix being here and the help of DTE. But we have so much going on this weekend with uh, the biggest thing we have going on really is the access we allow people. This year, for the first time ever, it's no charge to come in the paddock, the garage, and come over here and see the Scott Fountain. Where it used to be a $20 charge, yeah. now it's free. So ah. we want to make this an exclusive event, not exclusive. And that's just one more example of what we do. Yeah. But it is not easy to top it, you know, what you've done every year. And that's sort of the, the devil's errand that you're sent on every year. You've got to find a way to make it better, right? You're right, Devin, including tonight. You know, yeah. we had an amazing year last year. We raised a million dollars net. We gave a check to the Belle Isle Conservancy. 400000 of it went to help the fountain out. The other part of it goes to keep the aquarium open year-round, free of charge. Yeah. So we hope to raise another million dollars tonight. I think we will. We have some great things we're going to give away and, and we're going to sell. And uh, <laughs> But have people come back tomorrow excited to be part of the 
five races going on the next 24, 48 hours. So a lot going on, and we're so excited to be back on Belle Isle. Yeah. All right. Can, can you top what happened last week oh, in Indianapolis? That was huge. That wow. <laughs> Roger's 18th Indy 500 victory. They never get old. Uh, Simon Pagano's first Indy 500 victory. What a great preamble for this event tonight. Chevrolet in our background here, General Motors headquarters behind us, and we are the Motor City. It's important to have these events, and we're looking forward to also bringing about $50 million of benefit to our city by having the that's event huge. this weekend, yeah. so it's massive. Yeah, yeah. That's huge. All right. Simon Pagano might need a little, little advice on milk next time, right? That was kind of crazy, <laughs> wasn't it? That was great. It was really great. <laughs> Moment of passion, right? So thanks for being here as well, and WDIV being our partners. We're thrilled to do it. Thanks, bud. All right, let's turn things over to Bernie and Becky inside the tent with a very special member of Team Penske. Hi, guys. Kids, we're here with Racing Royalty. It's Simon Pagano himself, the Indy 500 winner from last week. Are you? Have you come off the cloud yet? Uh, I would say yes, kind of, because I had to get back in the race car today. So a uh, little tired, but uh, I'll tell you what, I, I don't, I'm not complaining. It's the, the best time of my life. You must have freaked out when he saw that finish line, and there it is. Oh my God, it was uh, unreal. I started crying. And I couldn't talk on the radio, I was crying. So, uh, you know, and then the, the best thing for a race car driver is to have your peers come alongside you and, and just wave at you. So that was, that was a sweet moment. Is that, is that something you dream of, the Indy 500 come, being raised in France? I dreamt about it since I was seven years old. I, uh, I used to watch it at my grandpa's house. And, uh, you know, being, just dreaming about it, being in it, but then living your dream and succeeding at it is something different. So. Uh, it's unbelievable. I'm living the best life ever. I'm really blessed. Do you know this young lady? She has a question. I do. So you had uh, your dog Norman with you. I saw him on some of the hits over in New York. Tell us a little bit about Norman. Norman is uh, he's my little Jack Russell. He's, uh, he's a super dog. I mean, he's um, you got to follow him on Instagram. He's got his own Instagram. That's right. Norman Pagano. And um, he does all sorts of tricks. He's just a natural on TV. He loves TV. I don't know why. He's better at it than I am. He also flirts with my dog, Lucy, quite a bit in the bus lot. Right? He does. He barks a lot, too. What, what is an Indy 500 winner, what does that do for a career? I know the label is always there, but now, so what does that do to you? I don't want to say financially, but I'll say financially. Well, financially, it's pretty good. The, the prize money was pretty awesome. It's 2.7 million, so I think things are good on that side of things, but uh, it's obviously, you know, we are a product, we are a brand, the race car drivers, and you know, when something like that happens, you get a lot of interest from companies that want to be represented by an athlete or a sportsman. So uh, we'll see what happens. There should be some interest. We'll try to continue growing the brand. But uh, most importantly, I'm a racer. I just want to keep racing and win more races. Have you heard of James Hinchcliffe? A little bit, yes. He's, he's a bit of a problem on track. He's a little too quick a lot, mo most of the time. He's a bit of a thug? Is that what you're saying? A little rough guy? Rough you up out there? No, he's not. He's a great racer. We've raced together our whole career. Uh, since I came to the U.S., I've been racing with James. And I'll tell you what, that guy, he's got something for TV. He's so charismatic. He's, uh, he's got a great future. Is there is there a like among all the drivers, like when you see a Simon Pagino and you like the guy that he won the 500, even though you guys didn't or whatever may have happened? Oh, yeah, we're so happy for Simon. Absolutely. Especially that, that battle you had with Alexander Rossi, that was quite a show. Of course we're happy. We're so happy for you. You really earned that one. It's your first one. Yes, it That's is. That's amazing. It's it so is. Exciting. All right, you're the Indy 500 winner. I got 15 seconds left. How many races are you going to win this weekend? Ha-ha, there's two. Let's win two. <laughs> Great seeing you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome job. All right, we're going to throw the break right here. We're taking a commercial break. You know that financial thing you were talking about. We'll be back with more from the premiere party right after this. Come on back. Welcome back. The premier party is in full swing happening behind us in the tent. We've seen a few of the drivers come in this evening. Yes. Uh, probably some of them have contractual arrangements. They have to be here. Will Power came by earlier. Yes. He didn't sound all that confident, I didn't think. No, I didn't think so either. I asked him about practice, Steve, which was today. They had two sessions, about 45 minutes each, and he was saying that it didn't go quite like he wanted. But that's why you have a team. They have those tweaks that they can make. 
and then tomorrow morning, of course, is qualifying for the race. So not that confident today. I heard that from Colton Herta's team as well, but there's a lot more driving to be done. You know, it's kind of interesting, all the hot cars that brought a lot of the people that are coming to the party. Take a peek over here. That's how the drivers arrive. They all have their little motorcycles so they can get through the paddock and through the pits and to their motorhomes. That's the way to cruise Belle Isle this weekend. Uh Oh, absolutely, Steve. That's what they do, because why get in a car if you're in a car all day long, <laughs> all weekend long, that's right? That's right. That's right. All right. Well, we're going to be here at the party in case any more drivers show up. We'll bring them to you. But uh, Devin and Kimberly, we'll throw it back to you. You know, I always wonder, though, can those drivers be happy going 15 miles I an hour in anything? So. No. No, not I don't at all. think so either. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. We'll be back to you in just a minute. It takes so much to put this event together and joining us now. Dan Lepp, the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and uh, part of this year's host committee. Great to have you again with us, Dan. Devin, Kimberly, it's great to be with you. It's a great day in Detroit. The Scott Fountain looks great, and uh, the weather's great, and we're ready to roll, so That's it's great. cool. Talk about what this event means for the area. This is huge for Belle Isle it's, and Detroit. It's a big deal, and I think, you know, it really shows off this island and what Roger Penske and Bud Denker have done uh, by really by their own will, Roger's will to do what he's done. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's millions of dollars. My wife Amy sits on the Bell Isle Conservancy Board yep. and to see what we can do. If you look behind us, that would not be on if it wasn't for what the, the Grand Prix has done over the years in raising money uh, to do things like that. And we're glad to be a part of it. Yeah. And in fact, you're going to try and be a part of it in a different way tonight with your family foundation. Talk a little bit about yeah, what you're Yeah, it's kind of fun. Do. We have a family foundation where we give, try to give back to the community. So we're going to do a, a match uh, grant tonight of $35,000 to raise another thirty-five, dollars to have a, a mobile learning lab, so to speak, that'll be here at the Scott Fountain during the summer and then uh, and, and then at various venues in the winter because there's <clears throat> thousands of kids that come here yeah uh, you know every week or I guess you know over the year and and this gives them a tangible opportunity to, to sort of educate them even more and so I think it's going to be a fun school, tonight. A school on wheels. A school on wheels absolutely. Very nice. That's really going to be great. And we know Blue Cross Blue Shield is also a big sponsor. Yes and you know we, we're part of uh, you know, we're on a roll, so we'll see you all at the fireworks, too. And, and, and I'm already parade. thinking about the Thanksgiving Day Parade, Everything. so it's all good. That's right, your June family. Is getting, June is getting full in Detroit, no isn't doubt, it? No doubt, no doubt. Wait till next year when the auto show is coming up as well. Oh Dan, thanks so much for the thanks time. Thanks, Kimberly. Tonight. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. We're just getting uh, going here on our grand premiere special live from Belle Isle. In our next half hour, the woman in charge of keeping Belle Isle beautiful joins us as the racing world sets its sights on Detroit. Well, welcome back. You know, today has been a tutorial for a lot of us in many ways. One is learning the difference. You know, the Indy cars, IMSA is something very different, but they look like Indy cars. So yeah. we got somebody who knows because his team had a great day today. This is Ricky Taylor. You're an IMSA driver. You qualified today pretty high. What did you qualify? So our teammate's car was on pole first position, and we're in second today. So good day. You really can't do any better than that. No, I mean, you want as big of a gap, but you don't win anything for the pole. Uh, tomorrow we have a 100-minute race, so that's the day we want to we want it to go nice and smooth and not, not change positions at all. Everyone talks about the bumps here on this track. What do you think about this track? I mean, it's a fantastic, fantastic track. We love coming to Detroit. Uh, the track is bumpy, um, but I don't take that as a negative. I think that, you know, it adds a lot of character to the, to the racetrack really separates the, the, the better teams and, and whoever's prepared the car the best. And definitely you feel them in the car. You're working a lot and have to hustle it around. Um, but that's, that, you know, that's what, what we're paid to do. Well, and it is a road course, and that's, that's part of being on a road course. What is the primary difference between the, quickly, between the Indy cars and the, the IMSA car? So in IMSA, uh, for the fans, it's really a great show. We have two races going on the track at the same time. So there's two classes of cars. There's the prototype cars, which, which we're racing in. There's the ones very swoopy, look more like an Indy car with, with a roof on it. And then you've got the GT cars, which are 
production cars that are modified to be race cars. You've got Ferraris, Porsches, Acuras, Lamborghinis, those are all in the GT class and we're all doing different speeds so the prototypes are around there lapping and we're passing through the GT field and then uh, so it's it's a big mess. So it's crazy yeah, yeah, oh, yeah it's just crazy and it's fun good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Sit number one and two they're gonna be off to a good start. Devin Kimberly back to you. Good breakdown of what's going on here. All right, thanks, guys. All right, well, the big beneficiary of the Grand Premier is the James Scott Memorial Fountain behind us. It's it gorgeous. It's just, it couldn't be nicer. Last year's organizers uh, donated nearly $400,000 to repair it and keep it running so that it looks like it does tonight. And joining us now, Michelle Hodges, always resplendently dressed as she is again tonight, the president of the Belle Isle Conservancy. Michelle, it's good Hi to see you. Good to you see you. You and I were just together up on Mackinac we Island. We were. We could have carpooled, Devin. And we totally should have, yes. <laughs> working way too hard. <laughs> <laughs> right, there, right before this. But yeah. as you, when spring takes over again and everything blooms and everything gets lush, what you look around and you've been a part of this from the start. What do it's you see? It's so exciting. And you look at this fountain and you know how many Detroiters were wed here and engaged here and maybe kissed here. <laughs> you know, it's up to us to protect that tradition, right? And it's actually her birthday today. Oh. 1925, May 31st, she was dedicated. So wow. how apropos that we're here tonight celebrating her and making sure not only she, but the Belle Isle Aquarium, which is a hot lap away from here, yep. is protected and preserved along with the rest of our beautiful gem. That's right. And, and the island and the entire island is going to benefit from tonight's event. Talk about that. Well, we're flexing our philanthropy muscle. Come on, <laughs> let's see your muscles, guys. Yes, we're so fortunate to have a community that loves Belle Isle. And they're standing tall and standing strong, and we couldn't be more grateful for that opportunity. So I hope the whole community wishes us as much luck as our Jeopardy champion is oh, having yeah, right. so, so that glad, we do it up tonight. So glad you mentioned him, because we need to note, in case you're tuning in, trying to figure out where uh, Jeopardy is tonight, we are moving that. You are going to see it in its entirety at 8.30 this evening. That's right, as well as Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune coming come on yes. right after this so a lot of people get a little upset when we move their television <laughs> programs they call the tv station they write on facebook and they say really bad things so we just want to let you know that you will be able to watch your favorite shows wheel of fortune and Jeopardy you mean they're not right going to confuse you and i with vanna <laughs> i don't think so you know <laughs> nobody's going to so. confuse me with the guy that's winning jeopardy either he's he's been unreal michelle oh, good luck you. tonight this thank is so, you so exciting much, really is and, again, and, and go team penske they got to yeah. win this weekend because wow. they're helping after us win weekend. they're oh, on exactly team right. belle isle well, they had a pretty good week last week. That's yes, for so sure let's continue Andy. that momentum. Yeah. Thank you so much, you guys. Bet. Yep. You. All righty, we're just getting started here at 7. Uh, coming up next, as I mentioned, 8 o'clock, Wheel of Fortune, 8.30, Jeopardy. Again, a reminder, much more to come here. Stick around as we continue live from Belle Isle. It's the Detroit Grand Premier. Welcome back. It has been a long day for these indie drivers, which makes us especially grateful <laughs> when one of these guys will stick around and chat with us. Jamie's got a special guest. Yes, that's right. This is Max Chilton. He drives the 59 Carlin. I appreciate you staying here and chatting with us. First of all, how was the party? The party is awesome and it gets bigger and bigger every year. Um, you know, it's next to the, the fountain, which they've spent a lot of money on uh, renovating. And it hasn't, I think it didn't run for 25 years until last year. So it's great when they, they always turn that on on the Friday of the, uh, the race meeting. Um, there's amazing guests in there and I think they're in for a, a wonderful evening. So I'm a bit jealous I'm not a part of it. <laughs> well, you said you're going to go home and spend time with your wife. That's fun too. Question for you, how did practice go today? Yeah, practice was good. It's a very demanding, bumpy circuit. Um, everyone's pretty tired after three weeks at Indy and then they have to come here and have their teeth shaken out uh, on the bumps of Detroit. But it's a double header. It's a really important weekend for your championship campaign because you get double the points. So everyone's very focused. Um, there was a red flag today which cost a couple of drivers getting a fast time. But qualifying's in the morning and then we've got a race tomorrow afternoon. So we're going to work extra hard tonight. Beautiful night tonight. They might, they think it might rain tomorrow. How does that change how you drive? Um, you know, at the end of the day, the conditions are what they are. We, we're racing drivers. We have to just deal with it. So if it rains, we'll put the wet tires on. And I'm from Great Britain, so I'm used to the rain. So fingers crossed I'll, uh, I'll, I'll gain a few positions in the race. Max Chilton, we wish you all the best Thank in the you, race. Thank you, Max. Appreciate Good luck it. tomorrow. Well, it's a fancy party going on inside. I know why Becky is there. I'm not sure why Bernie Smilovitz <laughs> is in there, but he's in there with Becky. So let's toss inside.
I'm cleaning up the glasses in here. What are you talking about? What other job would I possibly have in here? Uh, this is Will Power from Australia. Welcome. Yes, thank you. Uh, you know <laughs> Becky? I do know Becky. Okay. Yeah. Great. I just want to make sure you guys knew each other. Yeah, yeah. I'm sort of, I was sort of like the uh, head of the uh, uh, introducing team. Okay. So tell me, uh, you've had success here. You uh, finished second last year in the second race. Am I correct on Sunday? I believe so. I can't, he's on the podium. I was up there on that really beautiful fountain watching Hunter Ray swim around. So. Wait a minute. Are you winning so much you, you can't even remember where you win? No, I'm not. I, it was a podium. Like, oh. But yes, I can't remember all my wins. Oh, I see. That. Oh, That's yeah. from hitting the wall, though, I think. Yeah, well, that happens to all of us. Don't yeah. feel bad. Yeah. Um, and tomorrow, if it rains, what are we talking about for you? Look, I think if it rains, it mixes things up. We're still going to race. It's, it's probably going to be a bit more action, to be honest. But we hope it's a dry race. Makes it better for the fans sitting in the stands and all that. And I think we got a good car. I think we have a shot either way, wet or dry. In, in, in auto racing, is it like horse racing? If it's a muddy track or it's wet, yeah. are there better drivers for that condition? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it, it, when, it, when it's wet, it's so slippery, it really brings the, the, the driver out. There's not really much you can do with the car to make it better. So it's all in your hands. And yes, there are some drivers that are awesome in the wet and some who are not so good. Becky? Fun fact about you, you have the second most number of pole positions in IndyCar behind Mario Andretti. Do you think you're going to catch him? Look, I need to need to average four for the next three years, I believe. So I'm two in this year. It's tough now. Like There's so many good drivers and teams. It's, it's really hard. That, that is the aim. That would be such a cool record to break, such a legend of the sport. So um, working on it. Have you heard of this guy, James Hinchcliffe, who's coming after you? I haven't, no. Oh, no, yeah. That? It's a guy she introduced me to earlier today. What's the story? Is it a family when you guys, is it a, a racing family? Oh, absolutely. I would think so. You guys have been racing together for quite a while now, I would think, right? I, I met James in uh, 2006. I was racing Champ Car. He was racing Formula Atlantic. And uh, a very, very fun character. Great personality. And this is the sort of woman that he gets, which is understandable if you're, you know, very good at talking like he is. Exactly. Yeah. Very personal. He's going to come on in a little while. We're going to chat with him and see what, what the story is. Uh, tomorrow, uh, you like your chances? How was your car today? It was good. We were definitely closer. Last year, we struggled a lot. Um, uh, it's, it's definitely been hard for us. So came with a better setup. Definitely good development in the offseason to, to, to deal with these uh, uh, bumpy street courses. So... I really feel like we have a chance. Good. All right. And for the first time in my life, I can say I actually have willpower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. How many times have you heard that joke? Yeah, too many. I mean, right. seriously, dude. I, I, would, I would go after the parents. It would be the reason. For yeah. That. Anyway. <laughs> we are done. Let's head back to Kimberly and Devin. Kids. There's no doubt he does get that a lot. But willpower, only speed racer has That's a right. slightly better oh, name for perfect, a motorsport. Perfect oh, really name. Awesome. That's right. All right. Uh, thanks, Bernie. You know, it takes so many, it takes an army, doesn't it, to be out here? It really does. Um, it makes the race weekend really what it is. And it, you're right. It takes, it takes a lot. Yeah. Nearly 1,200 volunteers work on Belle Isle over these three days alone. And for some, We've come across a few. It is their 30th year of volunteering, so that becomes a family, too. And their hard work really does pay off. In fact, a study found the Detroit Grand Prix brought in $58 million to the local economy yeah. for 2017, which Roger Penske mentioned to us earlier. It really is extraordinary. That's a, that's a whole lot of money, and it helps to beautify a place where we were saying earlier people come for, you know, uh, to take pictures, to spend with their family through the summer. So it's really great. Bernie's back next with more of the people you'll be seeing behind the wheel this weekend. Big names coming up in IndyCar racing. We'll have that as we continue with such an exciting, and we'll say it again, a perfect beautiful May 31st night in Detroit. The last night of May is going out spectacular fashion and I hope you'll stay with us right here live on Local 4 from Belle Isle.
Welcome back. Everybody moving inside of the big room for the event tonight. Couple of quick items if you're coming down this weekend. Number one, remember there is no parking on Belle Isle. You got to take a shuttle over. Number two, which is a fun thing, the paddock is open to everybody this year. Anybody with a ticket, you're up close and personal to the cars. And there are two races tomorrow, the Indy cars, and on Sunday, which is unusual for, for a weekend. So it's a great weekend. Even more races if you count IMSA and everything else that's going on. Lots of racing to see. I hope everyone joins us here on the island and on local four. Uh, Bernie, Steve and I have made our way into the tent. You're going to see us <laughs> soon. I'm going to toss it to you for right now. All right, come on in. We've got, uh, there's some liquor left, not a lot, but this is Joseph Newgarden, who I'm told is the best looking, handsomest, youngest, and greatest driver in the history of auto racing. They gave you a great rap sheet there. That's really, <laughs> really nice of whoever did that, you know? Uh, how did your car go today? Uh, we were all right. You know, I thought we were in the mix. We were second in, in practice, which is good, but it only tells part of the story. When you show up tomorrow, it's when the real points count. You got to qualify well. You got to race well. Um, I think some of our opponents look maybe a little bit better, but I feel confident with Team Penske. This is our backyard, Chevrolet's backyard. Um, we got to work really hard to do a great job here, and I, I think we're in the mix. We just got to make sure to get it right tomorrow. There's a little bit of pressure on you guys with this being in Detroit and Penske and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, a lot of pressure. You know, um, I get to drive the Hitachi car. Hitachi's got a got a um, facility here too, so there's a big presence for everyone that's involved. Um, obviously, we're quite passionate about the event. It's been very fun for me. I've come here every year since 2012, and to see the just kind of the evolution of this island and to see how it's grown, to see how it's improved uh, and see how this events improved as well. It's, it's really been amazing and it's, it's fun to see how Detroit rallies around it. It's a really cool community vibe that, that we have here. Before we get to Becky, who wants to ask you some personal stuff. Rain tomorrow, what does that mean for you? Uh, it's not not bad. I, you know, if it rain or shine, we're going to go. And you know, they, they told us it was going to rain all day last Sunday for the Indy 500. We didn't see rain all day. So um, we'll find out. But if it rains, no problem. Okay, there you go. Fire away. Uh, so you are getting married soon, not too long after James and myself. How is wedding planning going? Is it going better than us? <laughs> <laughs> is it going good for you guys? I mean, uh, it's getting a little stressful leading up to it. I mean, I think we've got like three or four weddings this year. There's yeah. so many. Uh, for, yeah. There's four drivers getting married, right. which is nuts. Back to back. Yeah. Is that right? It's a very popular year to get married for IndyCar drivers, but it's going okay. You know, I've... Um, We've made it pretty simple, I think. So simple, the simpler, the better. And um, yeah, it's you know, I think it's going to be a very fun time. I made we made it after the season, and I think that's going to help us. When the season ends, then we can focus on the wedding. So that's kind of our plan. Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you could do a redo. We could do a redo, but I don't think I want to do that. The one time. They're committed. Committed. Right. Anyway, good luck to you tomorrow. Good luck to you all weekend. Yeah, Appreciate thank you. you coming on. Appreciate you guys having me. Great seeing you. All right, there you go. We're heading over to Devin and Kimberly. Kids, back to you. All right, thanks, guys. We'll be back to you here shortly. But at first, we've got uh, a guy who really needs no introduction to racing fans. Great to have Tony Kanan with us. Tony, great to see you. Thank you. And you really are the veteran of this Detroit race. You've been coming. Fortunately for or unfortunately, well, I don't know what that, you know. But, yes, I've been around the longest. Uh, I love this place. I've been coming here since, actually, 96 when I was racing in Indy Lights. Oh, yeah. I won twice here. So uh, glad to be back. It's actually a beautiful day. Yeah. I've never actually spent that much time around the fountains. So. That's why we wanted to get you over That's here. That's right, get you acclimated to. <laughs> yeah, we leave the other ones inside. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Talk about just how difficult this weekend is going to be, because this is unique that there are two races tomorrow. Kim, it's, it's actually the most difficult weekend for us. Not just because it's a double header. We have two races, one tomorrow and one Sunday. But this track, the Belle Isle, it's one of the most difficult ones we, yeah. we race. It's extremely bumpy, concrete, which is... It's a good characteristic. I, I, I love it because you have to really set up your car, but physically for your body, it drains you. Like oh, yeah. it's really one of the toughest racetracks we go. And then we had two races this weekend. Yeah. So right. it right. is what it is. I love it. I, that's why I work out as much as I do to be able to handle that. So uh, <laughs> I'm happy that it's going to be tough. You mentioned that you've been here since 1998. How has Detroit changed, just in your eyes, your viewpoint, over that time and Belle Isle? To be honest, I mean, Belle Isle got a huge improvement since Roger took over yeah. organizing. I think the city is being actually lift, lifting up a bit. I remember when I come here, when I came here in the past, people was like, hey, be careful, you shouldn't go here, you should go there. But nowadays, I mean, I come to Detroit quite often uh, because she, the Chevy headquarters sure. are here. Sure. And I, I think the city is looking awesome, yeah. the, the best it's ever been. So. Uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll put a good show for the fans. I mean, we're here two days in a row. We have an autograph session tomorrow. They can come over and see us, and hopefully we'll put a, 
a really nice race for the fans. Really great. I, I don't know if you if you like having this brought up, but Detroit was also the site of, I guess, the worst accident My you worst, ever had. Yeah, oh. yeah. Actually, Got the battle scars. it was uh, in the back straightaway in turn seven. I hit the wall, but Roger, when we came back here after we stopped coming here for a couple of years, changed that corner. So I broke my arm in two places and seven ribs, but they fixed that and took that corner away, so I'm fine now. There's no more Canaan corner there. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> oh, what does it mean, though, when you talk about how intense this weekend is? You just had it. Everybody's coming off. It's so intense to get ready emotionally for the Indy 500, yeah. and then you got to turn around and have this really physically demanding race. Yeah, I mean, it was the most stressful month for us. It's, yeah. it, actually, it's still May. Yes, that's so, right. You know, it's just uh, it, coming off of the, the biggest race of the year. It is a lot of pressure. Then you try to relax, and you have three days to relax, and you have the yeah. most difficult physical race of the year here. So it is what it is. That's what my boss likes to say. That's why we get paid the big bucks. So I guess uh, we're going to earn our money this weekend. Good, luck Good deal. To you. Thank Best you, guys. Best of luck to you. Great to Thank spend you. some time with you, Tony. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thank you. Yep. Really great. One of the real veterans of this race. Uh, Bernie and Becky have a special surprise for us coming up right after the break as we wrap up our grand premiere live on Local 4. Premier as a big fundraiser for the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix gets underway. It's been an exciting night with some of the biggest names in racing joining us before they, of course, hit the track tomorrow. I always wonder how they can pull that off. They've got a few things on their mind before they get ready for tomorrow, but this is the spot that everyone hopes, uh, where they hope to find themselves tomorrow. This is the winner's circle, the area all the top finishers will be sharing uh, their champagne and, of course, celebrating their big win, they hope. That's right, but tonight, many are celebrating inside this tent nearby with Bernie and Becky. Uh, we see you've added to the party, Bernie. Hi, guys. We have. This is. I wanted to introduce him because he's been talked about a lot. This is Mr. Becky Dalton. It's nice to see you. He goes by the name of James Hinchcliffe. Occasionally, yeah. Occasionally. <laughs> and I know you're really sky high today, not because of the races, because your Toronto Raptors won last night. It's not a bad thing. We were. Uh, we stayed up for the first half and then had to call it a day and woke up and you know saw all the updates. So very, very excited for the boys back home. Are you a big hoops fan? I'm a big everything Toronto fan. So Leafs, Jays, Raptors, we support them all. You gotta talk to you about Drake, but that's okay. Let's let's talk about your car. <laughs> let's talk about your car. How did it perform today? And if it rains tomorrow, what's the story for you? Well, I mean, uh, not a bad day for us. The number five aero car was pretty quick. Obviously, still a little bit of uh, time to find. The red tires through. I think everybody for a bit of a loop today. So it's going to be interesting to see how the race will qualifying first thing in the morning and the race plays out. Weather could definitely make it more interesting. We've uh, run in the wet here in the past. Uh, no strangers to it. Very tricky racetrack in the dry, in the wet. Very treacherous, even more so. But it's going to be fun either way. All right, Becky wants to ask you a question. Uh, so you're getting married in a couple of months uh, to me. Um, how's the wedding planning going for you? Uh, so we had a deal. <laughs> and the deal was up until the Thursday of the first race of the season in St. Pete, I will be part of anything you want, darling, help you in any way I can. And then once the racing season starts, you just tell me where to be, what time, and what I'm wearing. And it's pretty much all on you now. So I'm doing a great job is what you're saying. As far as I'm concerned, everything's going really swimmingly. I, I think he's doing a great job just agreeing to everything. Anyway, good luck to you tomorrow. Be safe. And uh, your uh, future wife is terrific today. She held us up and she carried us most of the way. Thank you much for being here. Well, thank you. I'm glad. But yeah, you've had her enough now. It's my turn. Oh, so uh, right. we're, uh, we're out of here. Go enjoy the dinner. Thanks, man. Okay, see you guys. Thank you. There you go. Look at that walk. Wave. Give us the wave. Come on. All right, there they go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the real stars of the show, Steve Garagiola, Jamie Edmonds. Hey, I can tell you who's the head of that pit crew. Oh, no, definitely. <laughs> no, no 
question. question. Did you have, have a good time? time? Was it? You know what the coolest thing is, and I remember back to the days when Formula One was here, and they hated us and we didn't like them. These guys are so cool. So, so cool. They just, they love the sport. They love Detroit. They love us being part of media, being part of it. It's just a great, great event. And they welcome the fans. Yeah. The yeah. fans can just walk right into their garages and get pictures and learn about the cars. I think this sport's fantastic. God, I just, God, I just hope, hope it, it clears it's tomorrow and it's like a great day and it stays dry and everything goes great. It'll be terrific. All right. Anyway, these two did a great job. I survived. Let's go to, let's go to Kimberly and Devin. Kids. All right, you guys, we have really met some fun people tonight. I'd never met Tony Kanaan before. Yes, and, and he was so energetic and fun to talk wasn't to. was he great? And, yeah. and he knows this. He really is almost like the, the Detroit Grand Prix historian because right. he's been here for so much and seen so much. But it really is an exciting time. We'll point out, um, it, of course, is the first time for us that NBC has now uh, got the race, which is such an exciting thing for us because we finally get to really kind of uh, enjoy these stories and get to come out here and celebrate this really great night in Detroit. It is indeed an honor, and I look forward to uh, learning more about Indy car racing. You know, I, I love cars, but didn't know a lot about you Indy think? car racing, so it's been a great night. I just night. want to share the story of when we were interviewing Roger Penske <laughs> last week, and Roger Penske getting to understand your truck driving past and how you drove an 18-wheeler through college. Right. Well, I was setting myself up that if something happens with my television career that I could come and work for him and drive a truck or I thought he was going to so. offer you a job before the... <laughs> Uh, before the Look, interview was over, he was so B. impressed. <laughs> he was so impressed. No, it was really, really great. All right, thanks so much for being with us tonight. This very special hour on the grand premiere right here from beautiful Belle Isle. Of course, we've got much more to come on in a very exciting week in Detroit. Local for your home.